Good morning, everyone. Today we're looking at another one of the Seiko 5 Sport collections. So, yeah, let's have an initial look at the box and uh, unbox it. So, cardboard outside cover, simple lift off lid to it. Just to reveal a nicely partitioned box and manual. Very typical standard manual inside there, just got their own little segment inside the cardboard overlay. I'm not going to show you that manual too much, I'm just going to show you the box. Simple lift off lid style khaki like camo box. Very, very simple, very, very elegant, not too heavy. Simple cushion just to hold on to that diver's watch. Always very simple and elegant Seiko watches and well made often. So here we go guys, this is the Seiko 5 Sport 42.5mm orange dial. It has a 30mm case thickness and retails at around about £250 depending on where you get it from. Weighs 170 grams, so probably weighs the same as a... Feels more than that, I think, though. It says 170 grams on the uh, specs. And the movement, so you can see it's a sweeping hand, so we've got a 4R36 automatic movement with a 41-hour power reserve and 24 joules inside. So let's have a look at the dial there. So the dial is a Sunray-style uh, orange bezel, orange bezel, sorry, orange dial, with fully luminous hands, fully luminous increments, and a full day-day function, as you can see here on the 3pm. So nice arrowhead to that mini hand as well. Fully luminous edge to the second hand nicely as well, and an embossed jet black logo for the Seiko brand. Inside the actual main dial, you've got full orange and black inside bezel, essentially, with uh, yeah, full markings. Going over the top of the actual dial itself, it's hard lex crystal. The hands are Lumi Bright hands and Lumi, Lumi Bright inde indexes. Well, waterproof to 100 meters as well. So let's come back to the bezel. So the bezel is a nice thick bezel that is unidirectional with a decent clicker system inside. You've got a nice bit of resistance when you're moving that around the dial. Full orange and jet black detailing. Come out to the casing, got full pod, well, like a full chrome stainless steel finish. Consistent going all the way around the side. Let's have a look at the crown movement. So the crown's in a bit of, a, a bit of an indented position. It's a full screw out crown. There you go, full day date movement with a bi directional first position on the first position of the crown. Nice strong movement to those hands as well. Nice thick movement. So, the strap you've got a 22mm oyster style strap. Adjustable by little tiny pins on the sides rather than screws. Coming down to the clasp, we've got a, a three-fold secure locking clasp with a safety buckle on top. So this would reveal a nice double fold over style, well, three-fold style system. Sometimes it's double, but it's, uh, it's often debated about whether it's tri-fold or double fold. Coming down to the back got a screw back style completely skeletal style back plate as you can see you can see that 21 jaw 4 r36 all make movement in the back there just sweeping around obviously got some markings on the outside of the actual rear back plate as well nice to see that so there you go guys that is the seco 5 sport orange dial